Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and welcome back to the totally normal game that is Dealer Simulator. Today, we're getting back out, and we are hitting guardrails. Damn it. Forgot about the damn guardrail. But yes, today, we're going to get back out. Obviously, the ultimate goal right now in the game is to buy either a home or a store, so I'm not living at a truck stop. So yeah, we're going to see if we can do that today. I'm doing the uh, transport jobs just because you get $750 for doing this. Honestly, better than playing the actual game. Uh, buying and selling items can be lucrative, but this is guaranteed money, damn it. Assuming I can find the way into the damn roadway. Damn it, man. I should have just stayed on the roads. How did I do this before? I seriously got on somehow. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Okay, hold on. Sorry. Tree. Oh, okay. Trees don't exist. That's good to know, actually, because I'm, I'm out here a lot. Oh, this is a problem. This, this is actually a problem. I have fork knifed myself, and I'm actually... Oh, oh, come on kind of stuck right, hold on what if i disattach this trailer wait do i do i need the trailer to get where i'm going oh damn it man i think i screwed this up why is the truck so slow now too it's not working like it's legit look it at the bottom right i'm going into gear what the heck how did i break this now okay when i'm not being a big dummy going through the wilderness this actually works quite well so i think we'll stick to the roadways now it looks like this time i just have to park this one here before i had to go to two gas stations unless i royally screwed that up and just went to the wrong one the first time uh so yeah this is very easy for cash is what i'm trying to say it took me a grand total of two minutes to do this assuming i can back this up first try and i'm getting better at it get out of the vehicle complete the mission why don't you let me do it perfectly, game? Damn it. All right, and there we go. So, yeah, that's super easy. $750. Uh, yeah, definitely worth it to do that. The only downside is it's way at the edge of the map, but these trucks are pretty fast. And there is one on the other side. I don't know if that's the same price or not, so we'll head over there and do that one as well. Plus, I want to go to that um, storage auction. That's the inside one. I feel like there's better loot there. Something else we haven't looked at yet. This is another option we could do is just getting a bigger truck because we do get some big items and it is becoming a problem having this small truck so yeah i just wanted to see how much these things are worth five thousand actually shows how big the beds are and then for whatever reason if you want a muscle car you can buy that of course as well so yeah there is quite a few trucks though as you can see uh, and they're not too bad. So if we can't afford a house, hopefully we'll be able to afford a van by the end of today. All right, and I'm assuming these are the same type of missions. Yeah, exactly the same, actually, electronic cargo this time. So we're not going to gas stations. Where are we going this time? I seriously thought it would be exactly the same. So this is kind of exciting. I mean, as exciting as trucking can be. No offense to the truck simulator fans out there. Where the hell am I going with this? Oh, yeah, that's right. I keep turning off the emblems because they annoy me. Should probably keep those on for the trucking mission. So we're going down here. I should also mention, the game now has a nice map so uh game is being updated a lot game was updated five times last week next update is going to be the auction house the developer says so i'm super excited for that because uh with a game like this i really really want an auction house and it's nice to see that is his main goal right now so that should be here sooner or later uh right now let's focus on getting a storefront so when we do when that auction house does come out uh we can fill it up at our store sorry we, we we can fill up our store with it oh sick i don't even need to back into this one the only downside is we're actually at the storage auction but uh, i'm gonna teleport back to my car so we can't go buy a thing real quick actually hold on big brain move no stop stop i don't i don't want to complete the mission hold on hold on no don't tell me i have to complete the mission now i just wanted to go buy something before i complete it okay this thing's just on my screen still. Probably broke the game again somehow. But yes, I'm killing two birds with one stone. Let's grab one of these while we're here. Uh, we, everyone's asking for a soldier. Well, that's the cheapest one, so I don't think there's going to be much good in it. But there you go. We have bought a soldier one, and we'll grab that later on today. Okay, and now we should be able to get out of this thing and teleport back to the other warehouse. So we'll buy that one as well with our newfound money. All right, but now for the fun part, let's hopefully, what is going on? Do my brakes not exist? All right, but now it's time for the fun part. We can actually uh, hopefully get some decent items here. So what do we got today, good sir? Ooh, not many options, interesting. Uh, should we go for double soldier? No, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to go for the expensive one. They got to be expensive for a reason. So that tells me there's probably a bit more in that one. We can only get one at every place you have to remember. So we're only going to buy two today because I'm trying to save my skills for the auto, uh, look up the price feature. Cause that would be great. Ooh, I, is that a Tesla? Is that a Tesla for ants? Like, what is that thing? Holy crap. Is that a PC case? That's some sort of electronics. My Tesla is freaking out. So maybe I should grab that. Uh, so yeah, this is obviously a child's toy Tesla, but still a Tesla. 
We're starting off strong today. I'm glad I bought this expensive one because this has to be worth a bit. Can we get a bigger door here, please? I actually, this feels like a freaking moving simulator. This is driving me nuts. Can we just have a bigger door maybe? Especially with a place like this where I got to move a Tesla out. And this is what I'm talking about. Uh, now that I have something massive, this truck kind of becomes a problem. Because, yeah, this is going to take up my whole bed, basically. Also, I love that this game just decides, you know, let's hold a freaking thing with our face. Everything is held so close. I can't zoom. Oh, I can zoom it out. <laughs> Why did I think I couldn't? All right. Ig ignore my complaints. It's just me being dumb. Oh, God damn. Just go through. All right, Tesla, get out of the way. I just want to do this so I don't have to move a million things. And now we can use this. Is that... Okay, then there we go. We opened it up. What is that? Oh, man, this is real good. So we got a drum kit and some more shoes. Shoes can be worth quite a bit. Really excited for whatever this is. Oh, yeah, that's just a steering wheel. Okay, we got another small skateboard and a bunch of boxes. So it looks like... Mostly electronics in this, which is a good thing, clearly. Oh, this is a VR headset. Yeah, this is a, a Vive. Nice. A VR headset, a Tesla, a steering wheel. This is definitely my best one yet. This is all high-ticket items. I was very mad today because a lot of the items I got in the first episode are like $20, $30, and it just takes so long to set them up. If I can get a bunch of great items like this, this is fantastic. This is stuck in the wall, so I'm going to have to open this up before it goes away. And thank you for not going into the wall. I guess that was all that was in there, unless something is inside my wall now. All right, well, a headset, not bad. Okay, and there we go. Wow, it's already almost the end of the day. I haven't even went to the other place yet. Decided to just do this on the outside in case any of this is trash. It looks like it is not. We got a toolbox, and what's in the bag? Ah, is that jewelry? I think that's a jewelry box. Of course, more, more cables. Couldn't be a locker without some junky cables around. But yeah, we got not one, but I believe two different jewelry boxes, and they are working jewelry, so that's good. We'll throw that in the back. And then this is now trash. And finally, okay, more of these Lego kits, which are worth a fortune in this game. So that's good. And another, some sort of shoe box. What's inside this time? Oh, some nice black ones. All right, and there we go. That's the first one done. Obviously, we're going to have to go stop off at my marketplace because I'm full. Uh, I do want to go grab the other locker today, though, because I'm worried if I sleep, they'll reset and I won't get my locker that I purchased. So... We'll go drop this off, go grab my other locker, and then it'll probably be the end of day one. All right, I'll carefully just uh, unload my car. And voila, nobody steal my stuff, damn it. I'll be back in a bit. Uh, did I get scammed? So I think I, because I bought it on that mission, it says purchase warehouse available, but usually I see the outline of the yellow door. I'm not seeing that, unless I'm blind. No, I'm not seeing that at all. So did I lose a locker? Dude, I'm so mad. I'm just trying to save time, game. <laughs> Why can't I buy a locker on a transport mission? Ah, oh, damn it. I wonder if I go in, if I can just purchase one again. Hello, I already bought a locker. You kind of stole my money, but it's there. Where? Oh, Depot 21, hold on. Does it show up now? Okay, there it is. Yeah, now, now I can see it. That was weird. All right, well, here it is. At least it's in the light, so I don't have to worry about that because it is late in the day. Uh, <laughs> what is up with me and getting mini cars? All right, this locker definitely doesn't look as good, but that's not a bad thing because whatever I sell, I get experience for, and a big goal of mine right now is experience. So uh, these small ticket items are not necessarily a bad thing either. And I mean, the, there might be some good stuff in here. I have no idea. It's just boxes. All right. And the final one, is there anything good in this locker? My hopes are not too high. I mean, I guess we did get a PS2. I mean, there's some decent stuff in here. We should at least profit, but not much. And there we go. We actually got some jewelry, I think, in that box. So that's pretty good. And a lot of games in that purse, as well as a x-ray of all things okay someone should buy an x-ray right oh wait there's a freaking job right here there's a job literally in my lot that better be new as i said there was five updates last week god i hope that was new because if there's a transport mission at my lot i'm so mad with myself i did the ones on the opposite sides of the map yesterday oh my god is this is this seriously just another transport mission i may as well try it i have bills to pay 
What? I didn't know I had to pay bills. All right, well, we should have a money to pay said bills. I don't know what... Wait, what am I paying? I'm living in a tra a freaking truck stop. What What exactly am I... Pa I'm very curious now. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. I don't need to talk to you in this one. Um, box cargo. Five minutes. Okay, so this is a... It's nice that these jobs are different. So I have a box cargo truck that I can hopefully steal. At least we can test out this thing because this is what I was actually going to buy first. Uh, where do I go with this? Uh, go to the blinky light. Okay. Well, I wasn't going to do one of these today, but if it's right in my parking lot, why not? It looks like I just have to go across the street, more or less. Oh, no. I don't have to go across the street. I have to go all the way across the map. Damn it. Damn it! This was supposed to be faster. All right. Well, there we go. Mission done. Only $340 for that mission, but hey, it's pretty easy to do. Okay, now it's time to do some serious price checking. We got crap everywhere, as you can see. Hopefully, by the end of today, this will all be gone. All right. Well, good start, VR Pro. 535 to 473. Looks like we got $500 here, and it wasn't even broken as well. L720, which is the steering wheel, 450 as well. Had to repair that one, though, so we still earned about 400 what do you want uh oh my lego thing please buy it uh again i'm not really here to earn a lot of money there we go 100 he took nice and i can put this down now good that's really why i want a store i can't sell enough here what was this again i think it was 400 all right so we are as you can see going through this pretty quickly the other big item is probably battery car b so we'll see how much that is and it looks to be exactly as a so about 400 bucks as well so nothing amazing like the thousand dollars we were getting before but some really high ticket items. Why is nobody wanting to buy this bike for a decent price? Uh, this is the third person. Come on, just buy it for a hundred. I need to get rid of it. Okay, 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 90, please. Ah! <laughs> Go away, I'm so mad. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. You don't, you don't show me I can get loans in this game. Why did you show me this? Damn it. I'm just trying to figure out where to pay my taxes. There we go. All right, so I have taxes for... Taxes, thanks, for a grand total of $35. Late payment interest is $900. Okay, good thing I found it. Let's let's pay that then. I just have to pay taxes for taxes, I guess. Damn, not even trying to bargain for the battery car? Thank you. Thank you very much. So there is a lot of the big ticket items gone. Now it's all these small things, which is, I mean, there's still jewelry and stuff too. I got to assume there's quite a few actually good items here. Um, But yeah, I just want to sell a bunch of this small stuff anyways. Uh, because I'm trying to earn as much XP as possible. Definitely pick up bags. $220 for this bad boy. Oh, yeah. There's still actually quite a bit of money here. This is good. Oh, looks like this fine lady wants that bag for exactly what I asked. Damn it. No. Got it for 180 though. There we go. Just trying to offload as much as I can. Okay. It looks like it is indeed too late now. As you can clearly see, though, uh, we did pretty good. A bunch of small ticket items left. We made over $5,000, so I'm happy with that. Uh, let's get back home, and tomorrow we're gonna have to go restock because there's not much decent stuff left. All right, well, I wasn't gonna bore you, but decided to do all the transport missions today as well. So now we should be balling with around $7,000, and we're also conveniently... 7000 yep, perfect. Uh, we're also conveniently right by the uh, storage auction or storage warehouse that I like to go to. Uh, just had much more success with this one, so we'll head back and buy another unit. Might have time today to hopefully sell that unit. All right, but I gotta find the Mona Lisa or something. The cheapest store is 20000 so we are nowhere near that yet. Uh, I gotta get lucky and find some sort of doctor thing in here or something, because, uh, yeah, I really gotta earn some money. Uh, that bank loan is looking more and more appetizing to me. Of course, it's right at the end. Why? Is, that's two times in a row it's been at the end. This game hates me. Oh, another Tesla and another blue truck. <gasps> well, that looks expensive. A girl statue. That's got to be worth a bit. That gets me kind of excited. But yeah, there's not much in here. I'm not too excited about this locker so far. Uh, is that like an ancient PS2? What the hell is that? Oh, it's a book. That's way less exciting. Well, if the girl statue is worth not much, this is truly awful. Okay, so 120. I don't know if I'm going to profit today. I have some of the saddest items. Uh, truly, like I'm selling $4 shoes right now. $4 shoes. 
Hey, and enjoy them. Honestly, just want this these damn skill points. I'm closer and closer to auto uh, price checking, which is so damn important to me. I'm slowly losing my mind. Well, my saving grace was three different phones that I somehow missed. This one's broken, of course. But yeah, I definitely didn't profit today. Here's the other phone. And finally, someone's buying it for 120 Perfect. Um, the other thing that I haven't sold yet is my VR headset. I'm being very patient with that because that's 520. But yeah, uh, as you can see, I'm at 6,849. I pretty much sold everything today. So I think that was the first locker where I actually did not break even. There is some risk in this game of not breaking even. Okay, and the IP13, thank God, is the big one. Uh, I think I have the IP11 as well. So 270 for this bad boy. That's what I needed. Uh, 270, and somebody's trying to buy the Vive, please. What is this? So this is a good buyer. Um, 500? No, I, maybe I have that too high. I don't know. Oh, I got it for 450. Okay, I'm happy selling that for 450, and we are back over 7,000 again. Man, this feels weird working this hard just to break even. Oh, come on, just one more sale today. That's all I need. Are you serious? What is this? <laughs> Give me 100, please. Nope. Oh, I think it's going to close down soon. <laughs> the reason why I want one more is I'm at 34.5 out of 35. I just want Masterful Eye for tomorrow. So I just need one more sale today, please. Oh, you're, you're all coming at the same time. Please, one of you. Yes, you. What do you want? Movie, DVD, I do not care. Sell. Oh, thank God. <laughs> That's all I wanted in my life. So now it tells me exactly what everything's price is. Oh, I needed that so badly. Good thing I didn't randomly put these shoes up. Like, for example, these are $108. I probably put a, would have put them up for $20 because I don't have time to look through 100 shoes. Uh, so now I'm for sure at least earning what I should on all these items. And there we go. We pretty much offloaded everything, as you can see. The ground is clear, so that feels pretty good. Tomorrow, we got to restock, and at least we'll know the pricings. Okay, let's see if our luck can change today. We really haven't had much luck in this run uh, uh, in terms of profitable items. I mean, in the first episode, we had a $1,000 bike, the four ninety, dollars dollars as well. So, we got to get lucky and get something good this time. Again, I'm going to go for the expensive ones. Uh, we Again, you guys are always asking me for soldiers, so we'll do that one again. Soldier hasn't been too great for us until now. So hopefully that changes right now, and we see a bunch of big ticket items here. And okay, okay, that gets me excited. That looks to be, yes, it is a gun. Uh, missing a part, I don't like that. Hopefully it's not missing the gun, almost yeeted it out of here. Just let me open it. There we go, I opened it the wrong way. That's what I didn't want to do. The reveal. <sighs> It's trash. I didn't even see the trash thing until now. Why does this game hate me? Got another freaking VR headset. Well, we know that's worth 500, uh, as we can see now. Eh, not bad. $100 for a chair. I'll take it. A uh, little scooter worth $0 because it's trash. Get it the hell out of here. Go. Thank you. All right. Now we just have boxes. Okay. Another $100 statue. Uh, we got the big boy. 1000 to 884 Okay, so that is good. Got me a rolly, baby. Okay, that's so much better. Oh, I love this. Where, where the hell did my bat go? I did see that bat. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Almost lost $70. Someone really wants to buy a picture of some flowers for $80. Nice. And a laptop for $200. <gasps> I like seeing a green jewelry box. That could be another rolly. Uh, oh, it is. It is. <laughs> oh, my God. That's insane. Two Rolexes in one box. The same one, too. So there is a couple that are more expensive than that, but I can't complain. Well, aside from the two Rolexes, uh, that was pretty bad, but you can't complain when you got $2,000 dollars in Rolexes and you spend 1000 on the unit. All right, been a while since we bought a nurse one, so we'll buy that just because it's the most expensive, let's be honest, but uh oh, nice and close too. Well, closer at least. Let's see what's inside. Very expensive unit, so should be good. We got another rifle case and a nurse's locker. What is up with this, man? How can I not get a gun? I got to assume guns are worth a lot, but uh, not this one, unfortunately. All right. Well, not too excited so far. Not bad. Nice TV for 450 Got to remember it's broken, though, and that's where a lot of my money's going to go because $214 to repair the bad boy. 
All right, yeah, I'm not too excited. This is a microwave, dude. I mean, it's it's a little bit of money. This might be one where we didn't break even again. There's got there's hopefully some Rolexes in those boxes like last time. Well, can we redeem ourselves with three? Sorry, four boxes. It's hard to count. We got the Thinker, 320. So yeah, pretty good. We also got a Toolbox Five. Not even sure what that is, but uh, ninety dollars. Okay, trash. Oh, there we go. Decent headset for $200. $100 phone. We got more mechanic kits. That's $70. Some gaming stuff. Sorry, this is trash. Oh, this is not looking good, man. This is not looking good. Nice little camera. I mean, I think we pretty much broke even. And okay, there we go. The Hello Space A worth quite a bit. And some $10 shoes. Well, I, I seriously think we uh, didn't even break even there. All right, well, that wasn't too great, but let's get back and see if we can sell some of this. Man, Grandma, you, you got a bargain on a $2 item? Come on, I'm selling shoes for $2. Get out of here, Grandma. Go enjoy your $1 shoes. Oh, maybe I should have asked for a bit more for my Rolly. Well, there we go. First one sold for the high price of $1,000. It was $1,884, so maybe I should go a bit more aggressive on these things. Ah, oh, feels good to sell that though. And sold the VR headset for 500 as well. We're almost back to 7,000. Oh, I guess you don't want to bargain with me then. Uh, goodbye. Uh, okay, just left. Anyways, we did actually pretty good. We didn't sell a lot of high ticket items except for that Rolex, of course, but we got 7.5 skill points. That's my next big goal is to get more warehouses so we can actually start offloading as much as possible. All right, guys. Well, the goal was a store today, and I mean, I could get a $10,000 loan, but my loan repayment is $30,000 in this game. And I'm insane when it comes to loans and games, but that is a little too insane even for me. So I think we'll save our money and... Uh, uh, not get a loan in this game because that's insane. That just means we're gonna have to stay at this parking lot for a while longer and sell things the hard way. At least I don't need to price check them anymore, so I don't really care. Okay, but we're not stopping empty-handed, that's for sure. We gotta get a new vehicle, being that I want to upgrade my warehouses. Uh, in the very near future, we're definitely gonna need a little bit of a bigger... Dude, the people in this game are hilarious to me. We're definitely gonna need a bigger storage area. So the truck's been great. The van's are really not a crazy upgrade. Uh, but yeah, we're not getting the box van anytime soon. So hopefully we can sell this. We have purchased our first vehicle in the game. Can I sell the car? Uh, hold on. I wonder if I actually can. That'd be cool. Oh, you can sell for 5,000. Wait, I can just sell for what I bought it for? That's great. Okay, so there's there's no real downside to upgrading. And we'll sell the truck because why not for $800. Wait, I can... Oh, okay. I was like, can I just take my truck? I guess you can just get in them to test it out, to look into it. I don't know. That's kind of cute, though. All right. Well, we got a bit of an upgrade, and it's very nice to know that when we do want to sell this thing, uh, we get all of our money back. All right, guys. Well, I think that's a good time to wrap up this episode of Dealer Simulator here. We are still very much struggling in the game, but doing a hell of a lot better now. Hopefully in the next episode, we can kind of get lucky and get one of those amazing items that will really change the way this game is played. Because we've been getting decent items, but nothing that is truly life-changing just yet. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this journey. As always, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one. Hey there, before you go, I just wanted to let you know about my second channel, Gast. If you're missing my multiplayer shenanigans, then please consider checking it out. Scan the QR code or copy the link down below. Okay, bye. It's too bizarre. Why am I bizarre? What's wrong? That face is too, it's, it's too messy. Here, put the smiler on. Somebody show him. Oh, here. Oh my God. <laughs> no, I'm keeping it.